Hello YouTubers, welcome back to another Dr. Pleasant 10 YouTube video and today is a bit of a different video. <coughs> Sorry about that, oh, damn it, knocking the tripod. So here we have is a bit of a custom modification I've done. Um I got inspired um quite a few times to do this. And it's something that I wish the one company originally did. Um so I thought I'd show you what I've done, you probably see, see the obvious. Um, so what I've done is I'm going to grab the screwdriver, it's had a nice polish. In fact, it looks ten times better, nice and shiny. It will start patina across the um, the copper struts and of course the bottom bit. Now you'll probably recognise the bottom bit is actually from the 11th Doctor Sonic Remote, which has the button at the bottom. Now, what I've done is I've took the button out of the battery compartment. What I did, I actually pulled this off, pull that off, pull that off, pull the rubber off, unscrew it and stuff, and then it was all just clipped together. So what I had to do is unclip the whole casing, disconnect the original button. Um, this is a different button entirely. I've disconnected the original button, took it out, and if you just put this in with this over the top, it will actually, you know, stick out. So you don't actually put it in between the plastic. You just put it on top of the plastic with this over it. But that's when you're putting the whole thing together. So what you want to do is you want to get your, but your, your bit of wire, extend it to about here. Um, because my wire is a little bit thick, I've actually scored the, um, the, the inner plastic with the solder iron to make like grooves so it'll slide in a lot easier that's what she said <laughs> um so yeah now i was actually going to be putting a uh an actual leather grip on but to be honest it's difficult enough trying to make leather fit around a sonic screwdriver like this is my attempt and you'll see what this is uh, a bit of a tease um it's actually a custom 14th sonic screwdriver which is not even finished yet so if i get it finished there'll be a video on it but until then it's in my drawer uh but yeah and then what i did is i have a wire going up to the grip and leading back down so the prongs are actually facing this way opposed to the copper because otherwise it'll conduct and then i literally put everything back together put this on screw this on and if it was up to me i would have made this the battery compartment where you actually have like a little screw in there unscrew that pull that off two triple a's in there put it back on put your screw on and then you could have got away with having this actually more like the prop so it goes in like a cone opposed to it being sticking out like a sore thumb um so yeah so the whole idea is is to make it a little bit more screen accurate and as you can see, there's a button there. There's no, I'm not pressing anything else apart from this. So I can actually use it like the prop. Um, one bit of a problem on this I do have is that the rubber tends to stick up a little bit. Um, I haven't even glued that the switch down yet, but it is actually in place. But I'm going to lift it up slightly and put some hot glue in it and then stick it back down. Just so it doesn't, you know, get away. You can tell it's rubber, as you can see. And then the last thing I did, I'll just give it a polish. Uh, so yeah, so you're wondering what's happening to the other one? It's on, <laughs> it's on this one. You can see this one's patinaed quite a lot, especially on the bottom. Ah, bottom. Um, you can see where the current's starting to come off on this one. Uh, so now the button works like this. So this was more like the 12th Doctor style, in my opinion. This one's more like the 11th. Now, I wanted to originally put this one on there, but that was proven to be difficult because this one didn't want to come off. Um, so I've got to glue that back down and give it a polish. Um, so, yeah. Now, it it does work. It still does. It's just there's no batteries in this one. But this one works fine. And you can also you can access your secret sounds. And of course, your Morse code. That 
that was long. That's what she said. Anyways, now the now because the base is a lot different now, um, opposed to the the original one. This one's a little bit more tapered. This one won't fit in the cradle where it originally came with. So I just put it in this one. I have it on display. This one will sit in its new, in its where this one would usually sit, basically. So yeah, that's basically it. My modified uh, one company Sonic. I wish the one company actually did it like this, to be honest, where you could actually have the battery compartment in there, and you could have got away with the sticking out the sore thumb collar, and have it like the actual prop, the emitter. Uh, someone suggested on Instagram, a friend of mine, said I should, you know, put an actual, you know, paint it, make it look like the actual emitter, but then it defeats it being a universal remote, really. Um, I still use it to change things, so I'm not really going to do that. Um, but yeah, it's a lot better now. Um, works like it does, um, or it's supposed to. Obviously, I would obviously put a leather grip on there, but obviously I'm not very good at working with leather. So, <laughs> yeah. And that's the other one, which I've got to clean up because that one needs a new polish on it. And it's just going to go away soon as well. Um, as soon as you polish it, three, like three days later, it starts to patina again, where this one doesn't seem to patina as much as this one. And I think because... This is technically an earlier version of that. They've used different mixtures and stuff like that. It is copper plated, um, unfortunately, because I had to uh, file down the actual copper ring on the inside to make a way for the wiring. Um, and the copper plating is quite dark, uh, deep into the metal, so yeah. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this little video. And um, if you want to see more content like this, Feel free to check out my other stuff on social media such as Instagram and TikTok. My two Instagram accounts, Dr. Tardis10 on Instagram. My main account on Instagram is a dot, it's dot spicer 10 And my TikTok is at the real 10th doctor. Anyways, guys, see you in the next video. Alonso, Alonso.